KBOI 2 News this morning. Welcome back at 625. A Notre Dame team has been warming up all year for a football game, but not the team you're thinking about. These players are getting their thumbs ready to punt during the intercollegiate robotics football playoff. Hillary Powell shows us how one man's dream is adding science to blue and gold sports. A referee, a football, even go Irish gear. But the teams on the field? Four teams play NFL style at the National Robotic Football Championship. We give a lot of extra points for passing because it's so difficult and that's what we're trying to incentivize in the innovation area. It is definitely a contact sport. That's why there's a fence in front. Bill Hederman is founder of Robotics Football. What started as an intramural game at Notre Dame now has nine teams in its fifth year. Engineering students spend a year crafting remote-controlled robots to compete. It's helping the students pull together what they've learned in each course. And it's not on a test. It actually has to work. Lessons inspired by a Notre Dame student only here in name. Etched on the prize, the name of Bill's son, Brian. In 1995, the Irish freshman died in a car accident. In his effects, Bill found a picture of a robotic football. And just Bill fell a moment when he was feeling like his son was saying, Dad, we can do this. We can turn this into an intercollegiate competition. It was just a vision. You got a hole. Oh. This is a, a kid magnet. It's brought a lot of people to engineering. It's cool. I like Purdue's because you can, there's a backboard to hit. A game with machines leaving an impact on humanity.